Hey, what's going on guys? I'm Silent Core and this is my GTA 6 series, your source for all the latest news and updates. In this video I've got some brand new images shared by one of Rockstar Games' stunt coordinators, and I'll also be sharing some of the information from Take Two's investor call as it looks like they're planning to make some announcements from their biggest franchises. Alright, so let's start with Manny Severo. He is a New York based Latino stunt coordinator and stuntman and he has been in the industry for a very long time. He's been in the film business for over 25 years. So he posted this on Instagram with the caption a little more cap work last week for a couple of days over at Grunman Studios. Time for the Power Ranger Wonder Twins power suits to come out. And if you're wondering what he means by Power Ranger suits, that's basically what he's referring as the very advanced motion capture suits that Rockstar uses. From the image, as you can see, it's a collage of four different images from his work there, and you can see the signs for Grumman Studios, and also Stage 7. And there's also an undisputable Rockstar logo at the bottom right there. Now this stage was probably booked out exclusively by Rockstar and this sign was probably on the inside of the door or inside of the studio room to let people know that Rockstar have this studio space. And we've also got this image here, this one was actually found by Robin Rams and the caption here is mocap flashback from many years back doing an old Rockstar suit with my eldest son wearing one of these suits makes you feel like a combination of a Power Ranger slash Christmas tree and he also listed the other motion capture stuntmen he's with, who are Devin Flores Severo, Declan Mulvey, Damien Ackles, and also Drew Leary. Now I actually did a bit of research on all of these names and the only one that I could find credited in Red Dead Redemption 2 was Drew Leary, and from the fact that he mentioned this one was done several years back, makes me think this probably was a Red Dead Redemption 2 um, capture session and um, those other ones are just uncredited actors because Rockstar doesn't actually credit every single person that does stunts. So some people do go uncredited. Now obviously from these different images we can tell that they were done from completely different shoots. So this one was most likely done from Red Dead Redemption 2 as it was several years ago or many years back as he puts it. And this one he mentioned was just a few weeks ago so this one was actually done in 2019. I did also notice someone left a comment on his image and asked him what game and he replied saying three letters that stop me, NDA, sorry. So obviously Manny Severo is still under an NDA for the project that he was working on with Rockstar Games so it is some sort of unannounced project and likely we can assume is Grand Theft Auto 6. In fact, if you check out his IMBD page, which is basically his resume of every film he's ever worked on, he's actually credited in 626 features, which is an absolutely insane amount of things to work on. He's just been a stunt coordinator or a stuntman himself in so many feature productions. Now what I did is I searched in this list for any video games and I was quite surprised to find that he actually has a very long history of working with Rockstar. He's done stunt coordinations in Red Dead Redemption 2, Grand Theft Auto 5, all the way back to Max Payne 2, Max Payne 3, even GTA San Andreas and also Manhunt 1 and 2. I also went into the Red Dead Redemption 2 credits just to verify him and he is listed as one of the stunt coordinators from Red Dead Redemption 2. You can see his name here, Manny Severo. Now Rockstar Games' parent company, Take-Two Interactive, does an earnings call every single quarter and they actually just had one a couple of days ago and they usually give these primarily for their investors obviously, but they tend to do also give us kind of hints on what they can expect their big announcements or big releases to be. I do want to say a quick mention to C. Shep for the win as he did a really great summary post of everything that was mentioned or worth mentioning from this call. Take two confirmed there's going to be multiple releases from their biggest franchises within the next five years. Hangar 13, the other studio that Take two owns, are confirmed to be working on a new game. We can assume this is probably going to be Mafia 4 and this was actually mentioned separately to another AAA game that's information will be revealed in the coming months. Take-Two also said their current development pipeline is the most diverse and ambitious that they've ever had. So we've got confirmation that they will be revealing a AAA game in the coming months. And they said that they cannot go into detail on how this information will be given. However, when it comes, we will know about it. Now, just as full disclosure, we have no evidence that this AAA game they're planning to announce in the next few months is GTA 6. 
take to own a lot of studios and a lot of different franchises and it could potentially even be one of their other games such as a new Bioshock game or something like that. But something I did want to highlight from one of Rockstar's newswires where they talked about what's to come in 2020, they also said this sentence which I thought was really interesting. They said plus expect more big updates and a few surprises as we move forward into the year. Now this is different from what they normally say in their news wires as they normally say that they just have more updates to come in Red Dead Online and Grand Theft Auto Online but they have added here that they've got new surprises as we move forward into the year. So I'll leave that one up to you guys to decide do you think we can expect an announcement in 2020? If you guys did enjoy today's video please take a second to leave it a like and go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already so you don't miss out on any future GTA 6 breaking information. Have a good one guys and I'll catch you in the next video.